to this happy place. Welcome. Hey guys, it's Tim, and welcome to a, another episode of the Dreaming of Disney podcast. I'm laughing over here because you're making fun of me, yep. like you always do. Yep. I'm with my beautiful wife, Adrienne. Yep. She's eating her <laughs> ice cream. I'm eating ice cream. It's episode 88 inching our way to 100 baby we'll get there eventually i think we missed um because i saw was it last week johnny had his two-year yes we did miss our two-year like, anniversary wait, we started like a few weeks before him in we march miss, we yeah. missed our our two-year anniversary of we were like the sick all of march yeah. so yeah you know there's that. There, there's that, and mm-hmm. we're also coming on here a day late this week. Yep. So, Wait you messing with your microphone again? I'm sorry. I I want it to go higher so that I can eat my ice cream. Okay. <laughs> Valid reason. You know, I want to do. I haven't done this in a while. Okay. I have no idea, by the way, what's happening tonight. I I have no idea. I wanted to give a shout out to some of our cities oh, that yeah. tune in. Mm-hmm. Um, How's Germany doing? Germany? I don't, I think <gasps> Germany Did has, we lose Germany? I think we lo- lost Germany. We hadn't acknowledged them in a while. So well, we actually, no, them. I take that back. No, Germany's still there. Okay. All right. Last five episodes, we have five listenings, listen, listenings, listen in, listen, listenings from Germany. So okay. I think we're, I think we're so good. Uh, so hey Germany, what's up? Um, but we got Chicago. Nice. We got Calgary, Alberta. Okay. Which is Canada. Yeah, Canada. Minneapolis, Minnesota. Okay. Uh, Augusta, Georgia. Nice. Here's an interesting one. Kingston upon Hull, which what? I Where's think. That? I think that's United Kingdom. Oh, no we, we have we have a few listen listeners from like keep saying listenings, <laughs> a few listenings uh, from the UK. Nice Australia, Japan. Mm. Uh, we got Minnesota is is representing. Uh, we Very got nice. Minneapolis. We got Blaine. We got Saint Paul. You know what I think of when I hear um, Minneapolis, St. Paul is, um, which I'm sure, maybe not like a younger generation, but people my age always get this drop dead gorgeous. If you are one of the <laughs> listeners from there, do you guys love that movie? Is it big? Is it not? Is it annoying? Do people always quote it? I love it. I don't think it's as is it as popular as as you make it seem. Probably not. I don't know. It was popular to me and my best friend. We watched it a lot, and I we think it's a. I think it's quoted a, it a lot in high school. I think I watched. You made me watch it once. Oh my gosh, we should watch it. I have it on DVD. Yeah, I remember being funny. Um, it's <laughs> hilarious, and I still quote it all the time. And I haven't watched it in a very long time, but. Anyways, let me know. I'm just curious. And, yeah. Did you know there's a Atlanta, Michigan? No, I did not. There's a Atlanta. It's not the ATL, the, the OG ATL. What? ATL, that's short for Atlanta. Oh, okay. When people say you're going to the ATL, it's I've, Atlanta, Georgia. I don't Georgia. think I've ever heard anyone say that. No. <laughs> well... I don't know who you're hanging around with, but uh, certainly not. No one who's going to Georgia. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I've never. Hey, there's Frankfurt. What's up, Frankfurt? There you are. Um, Sandusky. I'm trying. What? Sandusky. Sandusky. What state is that in? I have no idea. Ohio. Ohio. Uh, We got we got another Minnesota Marshall, Marshall, Minnesota. Hmm. I've never been to Minnesota. I've really, I haven't been that many places. You know what? I've driven across the country twice, but 
Unless you're on the I-80. I probably haven't. <laughs> you know, quality time with the states that you live in is what's more important. Not what quantity. <laughs> Well, I've had a lot of quality time here. <laughs> Lots of time in California. All right. So what are we doing? So one thing that, you know, people always get irritated about when they go to Disneyland or Disney Park in general is they pay all this money, mm-hmm. pay for Genie Plus, mm-hmm. and a ride breaks down. Yeah. It could be really frustrating, especially some of the bigger rides like Rise, it's Indiana Jones, Racers. You know, you're you're waiting in line, you know, especially for Rise or Racers, you're waiting in line, you know, could be multiple hours. hours. Yeah. And then you get up close to the end of the line and it breaks down. Been there. And they kick you out. First or, time. Oh. Or you're on the ride. And it breaks down, like when we went on we, Rise the first, first time. time. First time we ever went on Rise, as soon as we sat in the car. Mm-hmm. So we were already on the, the Star Destroyer. Yeah, we did that. As soon as we got on the car part, it broke down. Mm-hmm. And then that was the end of the night. So they weren't doing it. They were closing the ride. Yeah, so we couldn't um, go on it again. So we had to get it the next day. And that was when they were doing virtual queue. And it was like super hard to get. Yeah. And everyone would just come into the park even if they were going back to their hotel or to California Adventure, they would come into Disneyland because you had to be in the park. Mm-hmm. And you would just see, like, no one was walking around at Rope Drop. No one was looking around at the castle, nothing. Everyone was just standing still, staring at their phones. And then you would hear cheers, like, from around the park if people got, yeah. you know, their virtual queue. Yeah. Um, but Good times, man. Good no, times. No, it made me... I liked the cheering because people would be like, good for you. Oh, I'm excited. Like people would like, there was like camaraderie. Yeah. But I hated it. It made I me know. angry. I'm like, no one's looking around. Everyone walked into Disneyland. They're not walking down Main Street and enjoying Main Street and enjoying the castle. They're staring at their phone. And it was like stressful. Like you were so stressed and so mm-hmm. worried you weren't going to get to ride this ride. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, so people pay all this money and come and they might not get to ride this ride. There's a new ride. Because they don't, they didn't have standby. It was yeah. only virtual queue, yeah. and I'm like, they should. Have, okay, virtual queue. They didn't queue. have Fast Pass or Genie Plus then either, because this was after COVID. No, this was before COVID. It was before COVID. Mm-hmm. This was 2019. Uh, my sense of time is yeah. So there was still up. Fast Pass, but there weren't not for that. Yeah, that's yeah. Max this was pass. this was like the summer 2019, summer 2019. Oh, okay. okay, yeah, no, you're right. But anyways, so a lot of people wonder like, what what causes these rides to break down? Mm. So I did some investigating as to what causes these rides to break down. Why does it seem like they break down so often? Because, yeah, like, you know, like when you're in line, when you're like rise, you're kind of like, okay, whatever. But when you're in line for like Incredicoaster and it breaks down, you're kind of like, do I want to go on it? Like Mm -hmm. one time I was in line. We were doing single rider because the kids, you know, couldn't go on it. Yep. You went. And it was my turn. This has happened more than once, actually, <laughs> to me. And it was so stinking hot. This was only like last summer, I think. Oh, that's right. Yeah. It was so stinking so hot. So hot. It broke down when I was relatively close. No, I was the next person. I was mm-hmm. the next person that they were going to put in a row. So I wasn't in a row yet. But I was on yeah. the stairs yeah, on the and stairs. I was yeah. the next person they were going to put in a row. Breaks down. When we're le- when I'm leaving the queue, they, it broke down on a flat part, thankfully. Mm-hmm. But they were like in the sun. In the sun and it was that. so hot. I think it was August and it was so stinking hot. And I was like, oh my gosh, I would be flipping out because I already have to like talk myself out of flipping mm-hmm. out with mm-hmm. the like harness over you because I could get claustrophobic oh my gosh I'd be flipping out but then after that I'm kind of like well do I (laughs) (laughs) like so those went like I'm always like "Mm," I mean I always do go on it but or like Tower of Terror uh, Guardians you're kind of like like I was online one of the last times we were there and when we were in they had only had two of the 
lifts going. Lifts, yeah. And while we were in line, they opened to the third one. And I was kind of <laughs> like, um, do you want to go on that? <laughs> I don't really want that one. Like, why wasn't that working? So, well, I didn't look into those ones specifically. <laughs> Well, those are the ones I want to know about. I know, but the the, the main two that I really looked into were Rise mm-hmm. and Indiana Jones. All right, all right, I'll take it. Um, a lot of them, and and then a little bit on racers too. Mm. But the the um, the what was I going to say? Um, a lot of it. Oh, a, a lot of it is very similar as mm. to why reasons. Um, I mean, all these rides, like the big rides, like you said, Incredicoaster, Guardians, Mission Breakout, um, they have fail safes. So the reason why it breaks down is because it's not really break. It's not like something's broken. Mm. Nothing's broken. The computer system that runs these things noticed that something didn't, something tripped the sensor, meaning okay. whether it's, it, there there was a delay in some part of the ride and so to keep it from either cars running into each other hmm. or getting too close or they're too close to each other it, the computer stops the ride okay so nothing breaks down and what causes you know them to be broke down for multiple hours sometimes is one getting everybody off the ride Mm-hmm. That takes time. Like in Credit Coaster, the cast members have to climb up the ride. Yeah. And they were up there for a while. And because depending on where they are, they may have to call the fire department just because oh of gosh. where they are located. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so the cast members have to go up there. Like on that day, I remember they went up there mm-hmm. and they were holding umbrellas mm-hmm. for the for the guests because so they wouldn't get so hot while they waited for either maintenance or fire department to come and like escort yeah. them down. Um, so, um, so a lot of that's the same, but there, what, what prompted this was that I saw this Reddit post. Um, it was actually from four days ago and the title is why does rise of the resistance break so much? A cast member's response. So it's from an actual cast member. And I'm not going to read this word for word, but um, I'll link this post in the, in the show description. So if you want to read this from a cast member's perspective as to why um, you can go into more detail about that. So I just want to preface this is that there's spoilers. So if you have not written. Thank you. I appreciate that. Even though I have. I think most people have by now. Maybe people, maybe someone, li- maybe people listen and they've never been able to go to Disneyland. No, that's true. And they listen to us to like plan or just to dream <laughs> and they're planning their first trip. So I appreciate that. Spoiler alert. Yeah. So don't listen to this episode. Just, just stop right now because I'm not holding anything back. But don't worry. If you're planning a trip, don't let this deter you. <laughs> Because we go a lot. Yeah. We so do. we've experienced things like this a lot. We've also had many a trip where no rides break down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. yeah. So I'll start off with Rise. So one of the main reasons why Rise of the Resistance so-called breaks down so much, because, again, I want to preface this, nothing is breaking. So it stops it's either stops it, it stops operating they're they're the parts of the ride aren't communicating to each other mm. um they lost connection to something the computer system senses there might be like a hat on the floor mm. and or or a cast member who's watching the security camps sees a guest is doing something that they shouldn't be doing mm-hmm. like climbing Small out of their boats world. butt naked um that one you can't really stop <laughs> but um uh, or uh, things like that so they can manually stop it mm. um so nothing is really breaking there are parts that are breaking cuz that's the whole point of these these systems is to stop it before it breaks before, yeah um so one of the first reasons why Rise breaks down 
I'm just using the word breakdown. Because that's what everyone that's says. What, that's, that's what everyone what calls. Um, um, I'm sorry. I need to mute my notifications. Um, the reason why these rides seem to stop working so often, at least for Rise, is because there's so many different ride systems involved in this ride. It's extremely complex. Mm -hmm. So you have... You know, after you go into the room with Ray, you go into mm -hmm. the shuttle that that yeah. eventually gets captured by the First Order. That's your first ride because mm -hmm. that's an actual moving part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you go into the the Star Destroyer, and then you get down to the main part of the ride, which is the is the trackless cars. Mm -hmm. So there's no track. It's like Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Yeah. You're in a car that's free moving. Um, and then you have this, the third part, which is the drop and it's kind of a star tours slash, uh, guardians of the galaxy mission breakout type, mm. uh, sensation. Okay. It's not, as not as intense, <laughs> but it's the same. It's For the like same, a split second. It's the same mechanism. Okay. Okay. It's the same mechanism, same ride system. So you have those three ride systems and they all have to work in perfect harmony. Mm. And any time that they don't, <laughs> that was your microphone. That was my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to, I need to. You need like one of those arms that just like hold the microphone Yes, for you. I do. But we do this on the couch. And or so, I should start sitting at the table, but that's not comfortable. No, it's not. Okay. I'm figuring it out. Okay. There so, so all these all these parts have to work in harmony with, with each other. And anytime something doesn't work in harmony, the ride automatically shuts down. Mm. It just stops. So, you know, the the that the communication loss from the 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 trackless ride system. So they have it's it's controlled by magnets. So there's magnets in the floor, so the cars know where they are mm. in the ride, and they know where they are in relation to each other. Now, if any of one of those cars for some reason loses connection, the ride stops. Mm. And once the ride stops, then they got to get everybody off. They got to mm -hmm. escort them out through. They got to give them, you know, a genie plus, either to come mm -hmm. back or to for another ride. Right. Here's another thing I found out going back, you know, to these Genie Plus when a ride breaks down. For Rise, if you make it to the Star Destroyer and it breaks down. Okay. So after you, you go through the first part, you go through the shuttle, you make it to the, to the Star Destroyer and it breaks down. They give you a Genie Plus selection to where you can use it for Rise again. Oh. Um, no. No. Well, you always can. If you do not make it to the the shuttle, so before Ray's, yeah, and you, uh, uh, you get a genie plus for another ride. You can't use it for Rise. What? That's odd. Because it's, like like in Credit Coaster, they say you can wait till it opens and use it mm -hmm. for this, or you can go use it something else, just not Rise or Racers. Well, it's because it's Rise, and so if you make but it's it on Rise, I know, but so you don't make it for like racers. No, it's different for race. This is oh, this only applies for Rise of Resistance. That's dumb. if you make it past that point, they'll let you come back. If you don't make it to that point and it breaks down, they'll give you a Genie Plus selection, but it can't be used for Rise. That's stupid. I know that's just what the cast member says. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Why? Like you could have been waiting still for hours at that point. That's stupid. I don't make the rules. I'm not saying you're stupid. I'm saying the rules stupid. I know. I know. I'm just saying what they said. Anyways, so the so that's one one of the reasons. So they the the cars lose communication with the ride computer. Okay. Um, and then they have to escort everybody off, and then once they get a connection back. Now they have to run the ride through multiple mm -hmm. times test it. to test it to make sure that there's no errors. So that takes time. So mm -hmm. the cast member said it can take anywhere the 30 to 40 minutes to get everybody out. Oh, wow. 
And then you have to have, then you have to fix it. And then you have to have it run through with nobody on it for a few times. So that's why you see it shut down for an hour plus whenever it breaks down. Well, when we, the first, that first time that we ever wrote it, so it was new. Mm -hmm. Um, Had opened just a couple of months before Yeah, And that morning it had a late start Mm -hmm. getting going. And I remember the the two cast members that were standing there were just like, oh, and like one dropped their head on their desk because it had broken down multiple times already. Yeah. Because we were later, we were in the evening. And so it had broken down multiple times that day. And you could see that they were just so yeah. frustrated. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, the other part that, that uh, can cause it to break breakdown is the the drop section. Um, that doesn't make me feel good. I know, but it's not so much about the drop not working or it being dangerous. It's things to where the sensors may not be perfectly aligned. There might be a hat or some Mickey ears that are on the floor that could get stuck between the the tracks or the the wheels of the the car and the locking mechanism where the the car locks mm. into place so um obviously the cast members are always monitoring the the, the security cam footage they are they're always looking for anything that may be on the floor um because especially during that part right before you go into the into the 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 um, escape, escape pod. It's, it's all windy. It's windy yeah. because Kylo gets shot out, and so that can cause people their hats to fly off, ears to fall off, or sunglasses, whatever yeah. it is. So it, it the you know if anything isn't perfectly right, the system will automatically shut mm-hmm. it down. Um, another thing that can cause, and I thought this was interesting. They call this the intersystem transport ship, which is the ride, the first part where you're in the shuttle. Okay. And you go to get captured by the First Order. Um, If that's not working correctly, obviously there's a lot of moving parts in that part. Because what it is, it's like you're on a Lazy Susan. So when Hmm. you go in there, you're in a Lazy Susan and it you turn almost 360 degrees without knowing it. So they, they, cause if you watch. I thought you went like underground or something. No, or you're, up or... you're just, you're, you're spinning, slowly spinning. So if you watch, okay. if you watch the screens, you notice when you take off, you're always turning to the left. Hmm. Y'all, your ship is always turning to the left. And, and so there's some slight like swaying motions to kind of make you feel like yeah. you're flying a little bit. Yeah. But if you sit and pay attention, you always feel like you're moving to the left. Mm. It's because you're you're you slowly are. turning. <laughs> it's because you um, are moving to the left. And one thing that always gets people confused because you think okay, you walk in and you think you're going to go to the doors in front of you. When yeah, you but off, you go to the doors you go that to you the, came in. You go to the doors you came in because mainly because what you're doing you're is spinning. You're, you're spinning, and so it's it's you're you're just moving. It's moving you to the other side mm, of mm-hmm. of that building. Mm. So that way when you come in on the Star Destroyer, you're coming on the same same door that you, you mm-hmm. went in. So there's, you know, obviously there's the uh, the um, Admiral Beck, who is the animatronic in there. And then you have all the, the right systems that move that. So again, if anything doesn't work, mm. it shuts down. But what I thought was interesting is that Disney World... And we always thought that these were carbon copies, like the exact same. Yeah, we've never been on it at Disney World. Disney World has a way to where if something's not working on that part of the ride, they bypass it. So you don't go on that part. To keep Oh, you just go straight to the Star Destroyer? Go straight to the Star Destroyer somehow. Star Destroyer? So they they have a way to bypass that part of the ride. So that way the ride keeps going. Whereas Disneyland doesn't. Hmm. So if that breaks down, the whole ride breaks down. Hmm. And that's another thing. 
that some of these rides have what's called a A mode and a B mode. A mode is like how the ride should work. B mode is for certain things that don't work, but the ride's not dependent on it. Hmm. Like the B mode for Rise of the Resistance is that end uh, animatronic with Kylo Ren where he's pulling you Mm -hmm. before you go into the escape pod. There is a B mode to where he's covered, where you don't see him. I think I've had that before. I've had it once. Yeah. And instead of him in there in the in the room with you, he's in his TIE fighter mm. and he gets shot out. So it's just done on the screens. Mm. So if that animatronic's not working, they can keep the ride they going. They can keep the ride going. So some of these rides have a B mode to where that um, um, they can keep the ride mo- going that's not dependent on it. Like Mickey and Minnie's has that where some of the, the Mickey and Minnie, like the Mickey and Minnie in the hot air balloon. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm, uh, if that's not working, then they just have a projection mm. of that. So they don't have that on Small World though, because sometimes uh, some of the hula girls aren't hula. <laughs> and no, uh, they're just like, well, just, <laughs> that's just gonna keep going until it falls apart. <laughs> All right. Um, and then the, the the cast member talks about just different things. Um that that they pay attention to like sometimes they may hear like a creaking a creaking noise or uh, they smell something that they shouldn't be smelling um um like like probably like smoke? like burning electronics mm. or things that are are grinding or things like that mm. or like is Kyla supposed to do that um and so it's up to the cast member to the side is this does this warrant enough to call maintenance mm-hmm. and then shut down the ride? Mm. So obviously the the manager, the lead cast member is gonna make that call and probably talk to maintenance and they'll be like, Yeah, we need to fix that right away. And mm-hmm. so they cut it, shut it down and they'll come in and fix it. So those are some of the different reasons why Rise may break down. Um, but he he says Rise of the Resistance at Disneyland experiences occasional downtimes, but not as frequent as perceived. Common reasons for breakdowns include communication loss between rides, uh, issues with lift drops, uh, malfunctions with the intersystem transport ship, and the unusual conditions requiring safety checks. Um, he mentions about like it may seem like it breaks down a lot, only because it's one of the most popular rides. Mm. So everybody's paying attention to it. So that was Rise mm. of the Resistance. Okay. Next time we're there and it breaks down, I'll be like, well, just to random people that are like walking by and complaining. I'll be like, well, you know why. <laughs> I know why. Do you? And I'll act like I know everything. So the next one, and one that really irritates a lot of people. Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. Because that one breaks down. That one does. Break that down one a does lot. break down. A lot. It breaks down a lot. And there, there's multiple. They've, they've, they've jerry rigged this ride so many different ways. They've jerry rigged. Do you know that for, phrase? Well, yeah, jerry-rigged. but what do you mean? Like the ride does not operate the way that it was originally intended oh okay because either it's too expensive to fix Mm. or there are no parts available to Mm. fix it um and you know rise is very complicated in it in the way that it it operates um but indiana jones is also very complicated Mm -hmm. because it has so many different moving parts yeah um with the animatronics and everything um like the Indiana Jones, there's three Indiana Jones animatronics on the right. Okay, the one. Oh yeah, okay. So the one hanging above, then the one at the bottom when the ball crashes, and yeah. then the one by this. The one at the beginning, at the doors after you go through the main doors, and he's holding like the door back, like yeah, it's, yeah, like yeah, it's yeah, open. Yeah. That's the first one. Yeah. Okay. Um. And so uh, the 
the, the main one that they break down that they shut the ride downs for the first one. Mm. The other two aren't so dependent on mm. it. They they want the first one to to be working right. If it's not working right, then they'll shut it down and get that fixed. Um, but one of the main reasons that it breaks down so much is because the ride vehicles are so complex. Yeah. Because it's it's not it, the cars are on a track. Um, but they still move by themselves. Mm. So they still have wheels that power themselves and, and move it. Um, but what makes them so unique is that, you know, you feel like you're being thrown around, like yeah. you're on a Jeep and everything, but really the floor is flat. Right. It's, it's just the car. Move- the the yeah. car is moving, you know, side to side up yeah. and down to make it feel like yeah. you're going over well, heels and bumps. you can see that the road is <laughs> Well, I know, but some people may not realize that. Okay. Uh, so it's like... It's like Star Tours, but on a car. Hmm. It's the same type of mechanism. Um, and that it has hydraulics in it. So the hydraulics are, 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 are controlled by liquid in these, in these pumps. And so a lot of times these cars leak oil <laughs> all over the track. Nice. So... So the customers would be like, uh, there's a puddle under this, under this ride vehicle. So they have to shut it down, clean it up and then take the, the ride vehicle out of commission. Mm. So it gets fixed. Um, I read something like these ride vehicles cost anywhere from like 300 to $400,000 each. They're so complex. Oh my gosh. Um, and so. I've seen they're not going to build new ones. They want to maintain the ones that they have. So, um, so there, there's one, that one, one of the reasons, um, again, it's very similar to rise. If something is on the track and there's sensors, Mm -hmm. the computer system senses anything, it's going to shut it down. Mm. Um, also this, the computer system that runs Indiana Jones is extremely old. And they don't have a way to update it. Why not? Because then they would have to build a whole new ride oh, for uh, it to get okay. to work. Um, I believe the computer system that runs the ride only works on, now if, if you're into computer stuff, works on Windows 95, which came out in 1995. Mm. So now you believe, why do you believe this? Well, that's from, from what I've read on the internet. (laughs) From what I read on my Windows 95 computer. (laughs) But so it's like, so, so old and antiquated that it, it loses connection. It, it, you know, the, the computers crash. And so it just shuts down the ride as of. Fail okay. safe. The 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 computer the ride just shuts down. Um, and <laughs> and uh, and also there. When you think about the when you're getting on the ride or mm-hmm. you're getting off the ride, the cast members are always rushing you. Yeah, they're like, and this is for any ride. Like for, yeah. for, for any like modern ride, they always seem to be like, you know, you know, get in, move all the way down, move all the way down, mm-hmm. check your belts. Uh, and they're like, okay, X to your left, X to your left. Mm-hmm. They're always getting you. It's because there is a cadence. Now, if they get off the cadence, it causes the ride vehicles to get too close to, to each other in the ride. Mm. And if they get too close to each other, it sends an error. Because they have to be a certain amount of time away from each other for the ride to to reset for the next car to get into that area. Cause, okay. Because yeah, the, like the, the projections have to, to start to over again. And the, the audio. The, the audio, the animatronics all are all, all on, a, on a certain cadence. So if that cadence gets off mm. or the ride vehicles get too close to each other, it'll automatically shut down the ride. Mm. Again, there's nothing broken. But I mean like – they have it all the time where it's like, you know, when they're telling you to 
to pull on the yellow tab mm-hmm. where someone's or something. <laughs> I don't know. The, the, some, sometimes you're sitting in that spot longer than others. Yeah. And that part so of that have, is So they must have to, some control. So they do. It's, they, they, you may not, they call this a um, cascading, uh, a, a cascade to where it may not right away shut down the ride, but it may cause a chain reaction to okay. where 20 minutes, 30 minutes down the road, the, these just like a traffic jam, right. a traffic jam, and someone slams on their brake ten then, miles ahead of you, and then you know, yeah, you're a, five minutes later. There's stop a, and go, stop and go. Yeah, okay. so it's the same type Peter of Peter Jennings. Peter Jennings. <laughs> there is a world news tonight, obviously a very long time ago, where Peter Jennings <laughs> was doing there, and he was talking, and he was like, "My," or <laughs> he just made some comment about like. Oh, interesting. They showed like a, a little like graphic of how uh, it like backs well, up, but I just yeah. remember him talking about it. So, so yeah. So, you know, part of those, like when you like, and part of the ride where you like sit in the dark and mm-hmm. it's like not moving, mm-hmm. that's giving it space mm. for the, the, the vehicle in front of you to get farther down the line. That happened the first time I took Noah and he was terrified and had his eyes closed the entire ride. Yeah. He was like shaking when we were in line. And then right after the the ball, when you go down, we just sat there in the dark for what felt like a long time. And I was like, oh my gosh, this boy is going, he's never going to trust me again. <laughs> uh, we sat there for a long time. So... Indiana Jones just has a lot of like physically moving parts that can Mm. just break. The ride vehicles are very complex. There's lots of timing that has to happen. The uh, Indy animatronics are always breaking. When the ride first opened, there, you know, you have three different chambers that you go through. You have the uh, uh, Fountain of Youth, um, your future and then um, gold. And so there was a mechanism. So it, You talked about this before. I think so. I can't remember if I talked about it on the podcast or not. Mm, I think so. But there, there was a, a mechanism that made it look like you were going into a different door. Mm-hmm. It was just the framing around the doors. They made it seem like you were either going through the left door or the right door or the middle door, depending on how they had the doors shown. Um, There's a, uh, is it on Inside the Magic? Or not the, um, Inside the Attraction Uh, on Disney Plus? Or Behind the the Attraction? Behind the Attraction, or it might have been a YouTube video that I watched. Um, And so, because there's actually four doors built but the middle door is really the only one that you go through. But depending on how they show the doors by using this frame that covers up either uh, one of the doors and makes it look like you are, it's an optical illusion to make it look like you're going in either the left or right door. But really, you're going through the same door every time you go through. I feel like that's been broken for a year. I feel like you it always has. just go through the middle. You always, now they've, changed it to where you always go to the middle because that mechanism broke Mm. a long time ago and Disney only had one of those made Mm. and the company that made it went out of business. you said this before and again I don't know if you just told me I feel like you said it on the podcast. Maybe I did. I think you did. So now what they do they use a projection. So they use a projection of the of the you know they have a different animation to make it look like the door is changing. So um, I've, that doesn't break down as, as much. Um, I thought when doing this research, there used to be a, um, depending on which door you go through, the, the announcements that you got at the end of the ride where uh, Sala says, uh, he says, I, uh, Usually there's like an announcement saying, you know, please stay seated until your ride vehicle comes to a complete okay, stop. Okay. He would say something about like, uh, oh, it looks like you drank so much from the fountain of youth. You'll need a, a stroller on your way out. 
Oh. He would have a different saying depending on which door you went through. Oh, okay. I don't remember. But now he only says the saying about the fountain of youth. Mm-hmm. He had a saying about about the future and about gold. Apparently, what happened was when they were refurbishing the ride a, a while ago, a cast member accidentally deleted those two other audio files. They don't have them backed up. And they don't have them backed up. And so now they only have the one. And so that's the only thing he says. Huh. And obviously that's he's odd. a lot older now, so he can't. Well, he was in the new Indiana Jones movie. He I mean, was, he but could, he's going to sound he... different. Huh. But then, I mean, I'm sure they have voice actors that can do it, but they never re-recorded that. But um, <laughs> so, so that's Indiana Jones. Racers... It's kind of the same, same thing. thing. It's kind of the same thing. It's, it's you know, if it rains, yeah. they have to shut it down because obviously you can't ride that ride in the rain. <laughs> you can ride in credit coaster in the rain, but you can't ride <laughs> racer in the rain. Um, and um, it has a lot of moving animatronics that need to be on sync. Um, yeah. If someone takes too long to get into the ride or takes too long to get out, out of the car, that can throw off the cadence of the ride. So, um, and it's the same thing. It takes a it takes a while to get everybody off the ride and get it uh, going again and and and, and resetting it, test it, test it out that. multiple times. And if it fails again, then they gotta fix it and retest it. And so I'm just doing that cycle over and over again. So. If you thought that was interesting, great. If you didn't, <laughs> you know that's okay. That's all right. Come back not, for a game. Not every not everything can be trip recaps. Oh, you know? and those can get old. Not every episode is going to be a winner. Okay, Tim, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's interesting because you do you wonder like, well, what bro? Like what? Like, and like I said, especially ones where like in Credit Coaster or something where you're like, um. Should I? Mm, would you figure they have fail safes and things like this? Otherwise, they wouldn't. You know, there would be a lot more injuries and a lot more deaths. That's true. <laughs> That's so, true. You know, you figure they have safety protocols and things. Um, but yeah, no, that's it's interesting. Well, I'm glad you thought so. Well, I hope you enjoyed that because Audrey and sure didn't. <laughs> That is not true. I, <laughs> I've oh, explaining this. I look over. And, oh, she's her eyes are closed. I they weren't. It was a it was a joke. Most 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 of the most, most of it was a joke. It was mostly a joke. I I find it interesting. I do think that like okay, they're all the same. Like I you know like it's pretty much the same reason. It's pretty much all the same reason. Um, but it isn't. It's good to know that it's like. It's not like a cable broke and, <laughs> and you're going to plummet to plummet your death, to, yeah. you know, just. These are safe. You can, you can be sure you're safe at Disneyland, but, uh, you know, follow us on Instagram. <laughs> but you know what? If you want better content than this, follow us on Instagram. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's bad content there, too. <laughs> <laughs> if, we just, if we feel like posting, we haven't posted in a while. Tim goes on, like, you know. I have spurts. He'll be like, which, I mean, who doesn't? I do it. Yeah. But, like, you know, you'll be, like, on fire. Well, it's like, you know, leading up to, leading up to, like, a trip. So we get excited. And, and then, then after a trip. And then after a trip, you got all this content and you're excited and and then it quickly fades away, and then you just have the Disney blues, and you're just like, I just want to go back. I have had some major Disney blues after our trip. I know. Like, I had, like, I've had some major blues since our Disney World trip. Mm-hmm. Not just Disney, just in general. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, just like, man. Because then we looked forward to that for so long, and yeah. then it was like. And it was over. You know, like your wedding or. Things like that, you know, <laughs> and then you're just like, uh, oh, no, real life. That, now. that was just, that's over. How is that over? Um, so yeah, so I'm, we need, 
we need another trip, you know. Maybe we'll have we will have one. Maybe um, we'll see. You know, there's there's lots going on at the parks right now. We just uh, f- last Friday, April fifth, uh, they started seasons of the Force. Mm-hmm. So you got all the new Star Wars merch and food, and you got the new Star Wars. There's new Star Wars food. F- yeah, uh, I haven't even been on like our. Our in, I haven't even been looking at our Instagram really. Yeah, there's Star Wars fireworks now. I mean, it's the fireworks. Wow. It's just they they have a uh, in 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 Galaxy's Edge. You can watch the fireworks from Galaxy's Edge, but instead of being like Wonder's Journeys or Mickey Mickey's Mix Magic, it's just they play Star Wars music yeah. from the movies. But uh, anyways, we appreciate you all listening if you stuck around for this episode man you are you're a rock star you are the real one you know what they there's some there's people like you out there that are like i hope so that is (laughs) interesting i hope there are people like me that is interesting wow like i never knew that and they want to know how the rides work there's lots of people who want to know how the rides work don't feel bad about this you feel good about your research and the effort you put into this okay good job oh instagram at dreaming dot of dot disney dot podcast dot podcast that's our instagram handle so you can follow us there we appreciate all of you for listening so far and until next time we'll talk to you later bye